Good morning everyone. So today I want to show you how I make my lemon and lime cordial. It is absolutely delicious and you know exactly what's going into the bottle. The bottles that you buy in the supermarket, they've got colorings, they've got additives. This is just what's in the recipe. But first I need to have some breakfast. So I woke up this morning with a bit of a hankering. I've got my coffee and I have done poached eggs on bacon with sauteed mushrooms and wilted spinach. So while I eat my breakfast, you guys can have a think about lemon and lime cordial. Okay, so the first thing you need when you're making lemon and lime cordial is a cup of tea and a recipe and some stuff. So let's just have a quick look at the recipe. We've got two kilos of sugar in the purple bag grated rind or oh, written red grated rind and juice of five lemons and a lime so i've got a couple of really big lemons there so i'm not going to worry about it, the numbers so long as you've got about that much tablespoon of tartaric acid now tartaric acid is its own creature it is not cream of tartar it is just tartaric acid a tablespoon of Epsom salts so that actually comes in a box and the box was getting a bit ratty so I've just decanted it into a container two tablespoons of citric acid so that's your citric acid it's just a powder six cups of boiling water mix it all together strain and bottle so I used to do it all by hand. I used to grate the rind and I used to squeeze the juice out of the lemons and the lime uh, by hand. But I got myself a juicer and gee, it has made the world of difference. So it doesn't matter what order you put it in, just so long as it's not too much that it's going to set the apple cart. Ready for some noise. Okay, rookie mistake. Always make sure that the container that's under the juicer is going to be big enough for the for the juicer. So what we then need is a bit of the rind as well. So here's our juice. And in the catchment of the juicer is all the rind. So I'm just going to scoop out some. And this actually gives it a bit of a bite. And you strain it towards the end anyway, so I'm not overly fussed about this actually getting into the drink itself. So just a little bit in there. And we want a tablespoon of tartaric acid. I'm not overly particular about leveling things off that's a tablespoon a tablespoon of the epsom salts two tablespoons of the citric acid One. So not only does this help to give it a bit of a bite, but it also helps in the preservation process. And so I'll just give that a bit of a stir just to make sure we've got all our minor ingredients. And that's a big lump of lemon peel so he can come out. Now I want to add the sugar. Now it seems obscene 
that we are adding two kilos of sugar. But when you buy it off the shelf at the supermarket, this is precisely how much sugar is in cordial. It's obscene. No wonder our teeth are rotting. Now, the big thing about sugar is that it's actually designed in nature to be eaten alongside fibre. So, sugar, when you think about it, is grown in a stick. But now we just need our boiling water. And we need six cups. So, a cup, 250 mils, or a bit more than eight ounces. So we want six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it makes about three litres. So I think they're about 750 mils. They're about the standard size um, of a, a soft drink bottle. And it'll fill those and give us a bit extra. And we just keep stirring until it's dissolved. And you can feel the grittiness. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. You can feel the grittiness at the bottom of the bowl. So once that's actually all dissolved, you just need to strain it. So I might just leave that sit there for a little minute while I get my funnel and my strainer. And it doesn't change colour or anything like that. It's pretty much this colour all the way through. And this makes a concentrate. So just a normal strainer and a funnel. So I have my strainer and I have a plate that I'm going to sit the bottle on top of just so that I don't get cordial everywhere. And we we'll just make sure that there's no undissolved sugar at the bottom. Just give it a final stir. with our funnel in the top we just pour it in And here is one bottle of lemon lime cordial. And so in making up a drink of it, I 
I might put might put that much in the bottom of the glass. You can add extra or less to taste. And here is a glass of homemade cordial ready for the summer. Cheers. Here's our finished made cordial. All in all, it took about half an hour to make and it makes a really refreshing drink, really good for a hot day. And what I did one year was I made up little labels and gave them to people for Christmas, put them in a hamper and made up a few other things. And I still hear about that today, my homemade cordial. And when you think about what you're buying off the shelf, there's all sorts of other chemicals in it as well. When you make it at home, you know that it's going to be just what you put in the bottle. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're keen to make your own lemon cordial, um, just give it a go. The recipe's there. Just rewind the video and you'll be able to write down in the ingredients just by pressing pause. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. That helps me immensely. And thanks so much for watching.